All right. That should be showing up now. Thank you for starting to record attendance. If any, everyone can go ahead and jump in and log attendance real quick. While you're there, if of course you have anything you'd like to add to agenda, open floor for requests, anything list review or bug scrub, please feel free to do so. If anyone is new on this call and would like help getting something written into the agenda and getting access to read and write to the Kubrick uh, community meeting agenda, feel free to speak up and we will help you with that. And if you're new and you'd just like to say hello and let us welcome you, um, feel free to introduce yourself real quick. It looks like we definitely have more people on the call right now than are logged as attendants. All right, doesn't sound like anybody's going to be introducing themselves as a new attendee today. I'm going to go ahead and jump into agenda. It looks like, Andrew, um, you have some things to speak about for KubeCon. Um, generally, it looks like um, we are welcoming anyone who wants to present uh, virtual office hours for KubeCon, or if you're interested in presenting or joining panel style, um, please feel free to pipe up and we will connect with you. All right, looks like the document is settling down now. All right, so we have open floor items to jump to as well. SRI will be your face. Hello. Fine, fix proposal. Yes, uh, so we found a nasty bug a while back and, uh, and regarding the, how SRV interfaces are being uh, assigned and, and mapped to the host SRV virtual functions. And uh, we posted a proposal to fix it. Basically, it introduces a kind of a redesign to the current logic. And please uh, take a look and uh, share your feedback. And it looks like there is some review commenting activity on here. Do you have um, any specific questions about any of the feedback that's been discussed so far? Uh, so far, uh, there was a, a, a review and mm -hmm. uh, for a few stuff that I fixed. And I would like to get uh, more, uh, more feedback from the community about uh, this idea. Sure. 
Oh, right. Um, we can either do this now or async. Um, does anyone have anything to speak about on this proposal immediately or anyone interested in following up? Also, if we can get uh, the eyes of uh, a maintainer on it, it will be great. It looks like review has been requested. Um, we're getting some activity on the link. I'm going to go ahead and um, recommend also touching base on the mailing list for that, just to make sure that you reached out to all channels. Yes, yeah, sure. And if, um, what is that? You are asking to send it to the mailing list? Mm -hmm. have, have you already done that? Yeah, no problem. We will, uh, I will send it. Thanks. Okay. Um, if you don't get any uh, feedback, feel free to bring it back next week. Okay. No problem. All right. Um, MACB tap mode for pod networking proposal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was talking about, hello, my name is Andre. <laughs> I was talking about this Welcome. feature already and now I decided to make proposal. I know that it's not going to be merged soon because Alona said that uh, we are going to have another interface for, um, you can open render it version in the first link. There is some beautiful pictures. No, 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 here, here, yes. Oh, okay. Render it version, and there is markdown. Uh, so I just described the every step should be done to make it working, and why do I think that current networking design is not good for, for um, binding pod network and how actually I made it working. So if anybody interested in that, uh, please feel free to give a feedback. Um, we are still thinking to use and implement it, uh, even if it's not going to be merged in current state, I think we will develop our own fork to make it uh, work working. <laughs> So yeah, here you can see that uh, Mac with app mode is has less latency than bridge and masquerade modes. And mm -hmm. a little bottom, you can see the final design, uh, how it looks like. Um, the binding, the pot and yeah, this theme. So now this theme is much way more simpler, I think. And there is no changes in API. It just allows to bind um, MacWeb to use MacWeb tab mode to bind uh, other network types, not only MacWeb tab CNI, but any others, even if it's pod network. Okay. Um, that looks like a, a a lot of very thoughtful work. Does anyone on the call right now have any? Um, Additional comments or feedback uh, with the additional uh, maturity of this design. Uh, all I can say, right? <clears throat> Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um, all I can say right now is I'll review your uh, your proposal, nevertheless. But as you already know, um, we're trying to come up with a pluggable way for uh, interested parties to add uh, whatever kind of uh, binding modes to wherever they want and to keep that thing outside of Qvert. So that's the, um, the thing we think the community would really 
uh, benefit from, like a way to plug the like their intended binding ways uh, and uh, have them maintain those binding modes outside of the Qvert repo. That's the way we envision this going forward. So we could probably um, use this proposal to figure out the correct way of doing that. I'm unsure. I will uh, do my best to get uh, proper feedback to your proposal in the coming weeks. That's uh, as far as I can go right now. Yeah, thank you. I think that making this proposal uh, will make you easy to understand which calls I actually need, uh, like uh, to set the device permissions, for example, for the C groups. So um, it will it will uh, allow you to develop better design for this pluggable logic. And of course, in the future, it will help us to develop the plugin for making this working. Cool. And I just want to say, like, I think it's very, uh, like, the way you just uh, bypassed the the device plugin thing and uh, kind of adjusted the C groups thing on the pod template. I think that's very inventive. I'm a bit unsure on the, how wise that is or not, but uh, it's uh, impressive to me, to say the least. So I'm very eager to, to look at this proposal in depth. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Andrew Burden, I know that you are having some audio issues. Um, did you want to speak anything uh, particular about the agenda note for KubeCon North America? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yeah, you. Yes. Uh, it's all fixed. Um, not so much. I, I think it's all there. Um, we've got another, I think, 10 days left before, or maybe nine days, um, to apply for the virtual office hours. Um, I sent an email last week seeing if anyone's interested. So far, I haven't heard back. Um, if, it, if no one's interested, we won't run it. Um, so if you do have an interest in, in being involved in, um, in it, it's about 40 minutes. Um, the, uh, the goal is um, to create a, an arena where we can, um, people who are heavily involved in the project can uh, have like a back and forth um, with the, um, any of the attendees in the virtual thing, we can do demos, we could um, show off some stuff, or we could just do like do a Q and A. It's entirely kind of up to us how we decide to run it. Um, and cool, I've got uh, I've got one person. Excellent. Um, so yeah, that was that was all I wanted. Thank you. Um, do you have a, a target in mind for the number of people that you want on that office hours at one time? Uh, yeah, I think in Valencia, I think we had. What was it five people um and that was really good because we had five specialties and five separate demos that were able to run um when there wasn't a uh, question and answers and that was great i think between three and five is perfect awesome thank you thank you all right Um, unless there's anything else to add to agenda notes or open floor, we will continue on to pull requests that need attention. And it looks like there may be some activity on some of those already. Go ahead and pull them up. All right, it looks like this has to prove on it right now. Um, that was just added. Is there anything else for this one? Okay. Um, by chance, does anyone have anything to speak about on this one specifically? Uh, 
Um, no, sorry. Um, I added these just as a kind yeah. of like pre bug scrub. Okay, sounds good. Um, it looks like. Um, fail tests. Okay. Looks like that has the right people attached. Looks like some docs contribution, which is a welcome thing to see. Um, skip request for review to Daniel and Fabian. Is there anyone on the call who can commit to reviewing that? I can review it. Thank you. Another Docs enhancement. Thank you, Andrew. Um, can we get an, a review on this one as well? I can look at that one. Thank you. All right, and then. Assuming we touch base on all of those successfully, we move on to mailing list review. Looks like we have one item called out. Thank you, Andrew, for populating that. And of course. But it's not catching up with me. That was kind of obvious, wasn't it? Okay, the link isn't taking me directly there. That is a Hopefully uh, the link works for other people. Um, essentially, as described by the person, uh, they're trying a VMI live migration triggered by a Kubernetes cluster upgrade. Um, and in the VMI events, the VMI gets deleted. Training a node manually with that cluster upgrade works fine. So if anyone can jump in on that, that'd be great. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. And was that in the virtualization or Kubernetes dev channel? Oh, that's in Kubernetes dev from okay. Friday. Right. 
All right, so going on to bug scrub. Um, last I recall, we don't currently support hybrid clusters. Is that still correct? Um, mixed architecture clusters, to be specific. Yeah, that's correct. I think yeah, one of the communities working on it, but. Um, something I was actually looking at uh, this weekend, we're not producing um, ARM64 builds of vert CTF, vert cuddle, are we? I only saw x86. Um, would that be valid to go ahead and open up an issue to correct? or enhance, I should say. Like, yes. I'm going to do that. Um, I do know that having built Kubevert on a Raspberry Pi, you can create uh, ARM or ARM64 builds, uh -huh. but I don't think we do it automatically. Um, it, right. There may be some complication behind the scenes to actually pull that off, but that's our problem. It's a reasonable request. OK. When I was looking, I, I checked to see if we were using Go Releaser for that, and we're not. So if we, if we had, I was going to probably do the pull request, um, but I didn't continue looking to see how exactly we're producing those binaries. Um, if I open that issue and someone can kind of add some guidance on where to enhance that, I would be potentially interested in writing the PR. All right.
Interesting. So it looks like they're describing a situation where a VM with graphics device not attached, but a GPU attached is exhibiting anomalous behavior. Um, do we have anyone who would be able to quickly test a reproducer of that? I do not have a GPU cluster that can run Cooper at the moment. Uh, here is Andre from the desk. Uh, I just saw that and I passed to my team. I reply to you guys next week. Okay. Ah, great. Thank you. I think this is the last one. Can I ask something? Yes, go ahead. Um, uh, who can decide when we gonna became a convert version one? Ooh, that's a fun question. Is David Vossel on the call? <clears throat> I look, he's like he's not. That's actually something he's spearheading, which is why I immediately uh, said his name. We can track that down, but there is somewhere a list of all the uh, the check list items that we wanted in place, and they're not there yet. It is in GitHub, so it'll take me a minute to find it, though. Can you can you help me to find that? Looking. Is it okay to recommend following up in Kubernetes Slack? For that question or otherwise um, bring it back next week if we haven't there it is cool awesome i'm going to keep track of this doctor thank you for sharing thank you <laughs> that's exactly what i was looking for All right, great with that, unless there are any other last minute additions. Then I look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week. Thank you all for joining and participating. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye.